And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a moving tribute and a heartbreaking analysis of grief and endurance. Going into it, there was an expectation the movie would be faced with two challenges. The first was to tell a well-rounded story that moved the franchise forward while tastefully memorializing its fallen star. The second challenge was to accomplish all of that while making connections to the greater MCU. One of those challenges was handled extremely well. When it came to paying tribute to Chadwick Boseman while elevating the roles of the surrounding cast, Black Panther Wakanda Forever couldn't have done it better. Coogler's creative decisions allow for the legacy of Bozeman's T'Challa to remain intact while providing the potential for the franchise to build on the foundations laid by the late actor. All of this was accomplished while introducing a brand new character and a beautiful world not yet showcased in a Marvel film. But Wakanda Forever wasn't without its flaws. The character arcs were more engaging than the action set pieces, particularly more so than the battle in the third act. Clocking in at 2 hours and 41 minutes, the length seemed to dull the emotional impact of the film. There are moments throughout the movie that could have been shaved to save precious minutes, or in the very least, those minutes could have been reallocated to other areas of the narrative. For instance, the film contained a subplot that had the obvious intent of making connections to future Marvel projects, but this seemed unnecessary and it took time away from the world and characters more crucial to the central story. So while I would neither consider this a masterpiece nor my favorite Phase 4 MCU film, Black Panther Wakanda Forever still managed to rocket itself over some huge hurdles to make an enjoyable film worthy of the hype and any Oscar buzz it generates. Cut! That's a wrap!